Hello and welcome to this short Segal how-to video which features dynamic cross-plotting in Blueback Investigator using Spatial Selector. Blueback Investigator is a powerful cross-domain data analysis plugin for Patrol which allows you to bring wells, seismic, grids, surfaces, point sets and tables all into a single analysis space. Blueback Investigator adds five new powerful data analysis windows into Patrol for a very rich data analysis experience. It also brings a new data selection paradigm to Patrol called Spatial Selector. Spatial Selector allows you to specify multiple areas of spatial interest within Patrol, then from any spatial selection, seamlessly create a Blueback investigation based on the visible data and spatial definition. Spatial Selector opens up lots of interactive cross-plotting workflows. For example, the ability to define an area of seismic interest, create a seismic cross-plot directly from the spatial selection, select data points of interest, then visualize the data points in native Patrol windows. Spatial Selector also gives you the ability to dynamically update crossplots and data analysis windows based on the position of the Spatial Selector. In this example, we can see the crossplots updating as the selector is moved through the seismic volume. The same workflow is illustrated here, moving a Spatial Selector across a surface attribute whilst visualizing the relationship between many attributes in a matrix plot window. Blueback Investigator also allows you to crossplot well logs, select data within the plot, and visualize the selected data points in a patrol well section window whilst dynamically updating the filter. Dynamic visualization of data selection in both interpretation and well section windows from a cross plot containing both seismic and well data is also possible within Blueback Investigator. I'll now work through a demonstration of an introduction to the spatial selector workflows in Blueback Investigator. Please note this recording has been made with Patrol 2013 and Blueback Investigator 3.1. The workflows you will see are currently supported on 2014 and will be supported on 2015 following its release. Please also be sure to watch the accompanying how-to videos for additional data analysis workflows in Blueback Investigator. So the first spatial selector workflow we're going to run here is with some seismic data. So we're going to turn on the seismic data that we want to visualize in a cross plot. So I've turned on a near inline, a mid cross line and a far time slice. From the context menu of the objects displayed, I choose to insert a new seismic spatial selection. We can use the nodes on the spatial selection to refine our area of spatial interest laterally and vertically. The spatial selection is added as a custom domain object to the patrol input tree. If I open the settings for this spatial selection, we can see that we can also manually define the inline cross line and time range. We can also use a surface to define a time window. So a time window of 100 milliseconds on top of this um, surface of interest. So you can see the, the area of interest we've defined laterally and also vertically as 100 milliseconds above this window. So to create the investigation, all I need to do is simply right click on the spatial selection object and from the context menu, choose to create an investigation based on the data we have visible in the 3D window, constrained by the, the spatial selection. So you can see that the investigation panel has opened to the data tab. It's automatically loaded my near, my mid, my far volumes x, y time. So it's going to reduce the um, decimation here and also choose to load in an additional continuous attribute, my AVO class. Click OK to, look, to complete the, the build of the investigation. To plot the data, all I have to do is simply right click and push into a cross plot. So we can now choose to color the data by AVO class, for example, add in a legend, a color bar, and also control the point size, which we will increase slightly. So I'm just going to tile the windows now so we can see the, the cross plot next to our spatial selection, minimize the control tree. So what we can do now um, is because this, this it, plot has been built with data of a known spatial location, we can push all the data points back into the 3D window. To do that, all I have to do is simply make the 3D window active and turn on the same investigation object that we're currently viewing in a cross plot. If I open the settings for the investigation 
and come to the patrol window style settings. I can tell the points in the 3D window to also pick up the AVO class. So what we have now is a representation of all data points within the cross plot back in the 3D window. So this opens up some nice filtering workflows. For example, we can choose to add a, a rectangle filter, select some of these um, anomalous points, activate the 3D window, open the settings for the investigation and tell the patrol window to pick up the filter that we've just applied to the window. So this is a dynamic filter, of course, so I can move it around within the cross plot and see the, the visualization of those data points in the 3D window update dynamically. We can, of course, also push these data points from the plot window to other patrol windows. So I'm just going to open an interpretation window, turn on some seismic, so my intercept volume, which isn't part of this investigation, turn on the corresponding spatial selection so we can see where we're sat visually, and then simply just turn on the spatial uh, investigation. Again, we just need to go into the patrol window style settings and tell the points in the interpretation window to also pick up the AVO coloration. So again, we can dynamically move this filter in the cross plot, see the points in both the interpretation window and the 3D window update dynamically. The converse of this workflow is also possible. If I come to the investigation object and right click, I can choose to enable auto refresh of points. This allows me now to move the spatial selection around dynamically in both 3D window and interpretation window and see the plots update dynamically based on the new positions of the spatial selection in both windows. So Blueback Investigator and Spatial Selector open up other dynamic cross-plotting workflows. For example, here I have a, an investigation composed of a well and a suite of well logs, which if I push into a cross-plot window, here I have a plot composed of acoustic impedance versus PS velocity ratio with a rock physics template overlaid. I can then apply a filter or a selection to the plot and again represent these selected data points in a well section window simply by turning on the investigation. So here in the settings for this particular window you can see that the, the log track representing the selection of data points is coloured by density log. So again this is all dynamically linked so if I move my selection in the plot you'll see the representation of those points dynamically update in the well track. So another example of a dynamic cross-plotting workflow is using spatial selector and surface attributes. Here you can see I have a surface attribute and a spatial selection defined upon it. From this I've created a, an investigation that feeds from the spatial selection and also reads a bunch of surface attributes associated with this surface. If we push these into a matrix plot, we can then move the spatial selector around on the surface, dynamically visualize the relationship between all of the surface attributes we have loaded to the investigation in a matrix plot. One final example of dynamic cross-plotting is, is using well and seismic data. So here you can see I have an investigation to which I've loaded a well and picked up my IP and IS logs and also a seismic volume and picked up a, a corresponding IP and IS seismic volumes. I've also used the spatial dimensions here to load X, Y and time. So if you push this into a cross plot window, so here we have a cross plot uh, containing both well and seismic, P impedance and S impedance. So within the plot, it's possible to apply a selection to some data and then dynamically visualize these data points in both an interpretation window and well section window simply by turning on the investigation in both windows. Again, this is a dynamic cross plotting workflow. So if you move the filter in the cross plot, we'll see the points dynamically update both in the interpretation window and well section window. So that was an introduction to uh, an example of some of the dynamic cross-plotting workflows that are available within Blueback Investigator utilizing Spatial Selector. So if you would like to take a look at this product, please email us on sales.geo at segal.com or if you have any support questions, please email support.geo at segal.com. 
Thank you very much for watching this video.